Good morning, everybody. I am Joseph, and I hope you had a great weekend. It is Monday, October 2nd. We are officially in the fourth quarter, so sales hopefully will be picking up here. We've got two orders to pull today. We've got some bloody drips of blood in box eight. So, everybody's weekend went great. Had Bunch of fun stuff. Alright, box A, we got some Halloween stuff. Starting with bloody hand prints, hand prints, bloody drips. We sold both of them. Same customer. There they are. Bloody drips. So that's one order. They're both going to the same customer. And then we also have a card, and that is a Rusty Wallace. Let's see, National Treasures, Rusty Wallace House. Oh, these sold for $7.99 each. Uh, we took an offer. Had them listed for $9.99, took an offer of $7.99. And I've got a Rusty Wallace Hollow Silver and it sold for $10.99. I had it listed for, I believe it was $14.99. And I accepted the offer on that. So, Rusty Wallace. And that's out of the National Treasures. There we go. Legends, Rusty Wallace. And that is numbered. I thought it was. Yeah, there it is. Oops. It's number eight. Is it eight? No, nine. Nine or fifteen. All right, that's our two orders. Packed up today. Start doing more things. Hopefully. Business is going to really start picking up, trying to get more and more listed. Got a minimum of at least 10 items going out every single day. And that's between 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern. All right, I'll get these packed up and show you what our costs were. And there we have it. Our two packages all done. I love Ground Advantage, and I love the eBay standard envelope, too, for your cards that are less than three ounces less than a quarter inch thick in the mailer, but I get the mailers from eBay too. But you can do a three ounce for a dollar, a dollar seven, I think it is. No, a dollar 11, I'm sorry. They actually went up, so it's a dollar 11. But then two ounce is only like 87 cents, but you can't beat that because you get tracking and it does work with the insurance too. Because I actually had, the, for the first time, I had a card get lost, not get delivered. Contacted eBay. They got me in touch with, it's just basically a little form that you fill out from the company that does it. So I filled the form out. And literally, it was less than 48 hours. I already had the money back in my account. And they, I was like, wow, that's amazing. So then I was processing the refund to the customer. And then the customer actually reached out like a month later and said the card had arrived and was trying to figure out how to send the money back. I told them, look, it's, it's okay. The insurance covered it from eBay. So enjoy your card and you get, you'll get a little bonus there. Get it for free. So, but that's, an, I love that shipping option from eBay with the eBay standard envelope for cards less than $20 and that are less than the quarter inch thickness and that's the entire package too so but i love the bubble or not the bubble but the stiff cardboard mailers from ebay really can't beat it they're the seven by fives all right well i appreciate it we'll see you tomorrow we'll check in on our sales and throw comments if you have any suggestions or anything like that or what anything you'd like to see or just share and I can see what I can do. All right, thanks. Good morning, everybody. I am Joseph with Greyhound 2208. 
Thanks for joining me. We skipped a couple days, or skipped one day. Here it is on Wednesday, October the 4th. I did not have a sale yesterday, but I've got a sale today. This is Travis Kelsey Under the Lights Silver Hollow. Hope everybody has had a good time so far. Good week. Well, this is Travis Kelsey. I'm hoping with fourth quarter that sales will. Oh, wait, I'm in the day. So I'm, in the... I'm, in the <laughs> I'm looking through J's, like, why am I not finding Kelsey? There's a Kelsey rookie. That's gonna go. There it is. Under the light, silver. I sold that. But what I was gonna say is it's the fourth quarter. Open sales will start picking up. Uh, I'm trying to add more and more stuff. I was going to go thrift shopping, but I will get there and do that here one day this week. I I'd like to start where I go once a day, kind of make a little route to run through. That's what I was thinking. I don't know if it's something I'm gonna do every day or if I just wanna go once a week or three times a week or get some kind of a schedule. It's almost thinking every day, but I don't know. I've got, uh, let's see how many. There's quite a few in my area. There's 18, 18 different thrift shops in my area. So, That'll be something, I don't know if they're all going to be plentiful or worthwhile, so I should say, but definitely want to try it, see what happens, see what we can get. All right, let's pack this up. I actually had a couple messages already of people wanting me to show my face on camera, so... I'll start doing that, I guess, this week, too. Two ounces. eBay standard envelope. I love this. And the tracking. And then you get insurance. It's pretty sweet. And there we have it. We are all packed up. That's our order for today so that'll do it for today so I will see you guys tomorrow good morning everybody I'm Joseph it's now Thursday I've got an order today going out to Virginia Beach Virginia go ahead and pull that order it's a Tom Brady Platinum 2002 Platinum card. And it sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Well, we know it's here somewhere. <laughs> or it better be. Okay. All right, that's not good. All right, I'll be back. Okay, crisis averted. It was in there. I just skimmed over it for some reason. So we do have that. So that's going to go out. First thing, first thing this morning. Get that packed up. Be right back.
all packed up, ready to go out. So this is today's order. Hopefully, we'll start picking it up a little bit. Alright, that's that. Let me know what you guys want to hear, see. And this is actually a repeat customer, so thank you for that. I always like when people come back that tells you that you're doing something right. So we're going to be working on getting more things out every day. Because that every night between 9 p.m. and 10 p.m., we went to the thrift stores yesterday to a couple. Didn't find anything, but we're going to go a little bit later today and find some too after I get an appointment today. So then we'll go. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday, October the 6th. I, would, I do have three orders going out today. Also, we've got a few things here I want to show you that I've got. Got some quick cuts, cutting dies, three of these. Uh, that's the sunset. Got three of the party hats. So we got those six. Also picked up a cutting board. It's a tastefully simple post collection. That's brand new. Never been used. Uh, CD. And we got some DVDs. A couple new ones. Haven't even been open. And there's some used. And two VHSs. So that's our few finds here. Uh, this, all of this, and this whole stack that we got. All of that, and all of this. Actually, we are in that roughly $10, something like that. So we'll see what happens there. And we'll go ahead and pull some orders. So our first one. It's gonna be these sheets put over here. All right, we've got a Thad Moffitt racing. Everybody ready for the weekend? Open sales will pick up, but it's kind of cool. We did three orders today, so kind of. For me, it's picking up. All right, so we've got a Thad Moffat, and it is racing. Oh, I wonder, you know, I didn't even think to see which one. So it is the Chronicles XR, and it's the purple, number to 25. There it is, right there. All right, Thad Moffat. That's one order. Then our second order, we've got a 2001 Bowman's Best. Oh, and that sold for $4 plus shipping. And then we've got a Dick Butkus Bowman's Best. That was sad. He passed away yesterday, 80 years old. Oh, he's, he's one of those type of people that you think just gonna go on and on and on, you know. He's one of the legendary bears. All right, this one is a there it is, vintage best 2001 refractor. So that's an order. And then we've got oh, and that one sold for two dollars plus shipping. And we've got another order. This one's got two cards. An Adrian Peterson rookie card. So I'll pull that one first. And that is the Bears Adrian Peterson. So it's not, and it's MVP. So it's not the Vikings one. But it is, there he is. Adrian, uh, Adrian Peterson, 2002, I'm sorry. Upper deck MVP. And then the other card that goes with that order. And that card sold for $1.99. And the other card is a Herschel Walker Ruby Red out of Immaculate. There it is. This one right here. And it 
is 31 of 75. That one sold for $4.99. So that was that order. All right, so we've got three orders today in shipping on that two. Shipping on that one, it actually combined the two cards into the eBay standard envelope. And it only charged $2.63 for shipping. But I'm thinking, in fact, I know, it's with two cards like this, uh, with that one being so thick, it's going to be too thick. So I'm going to have to ship that regular. So it's going to cost me a little bit more. So I'm going to lose some money on shipping on that. The other ones I make about six cents shipping. So it's not like I really make anything because I have to buy the envelope. All right, so get this packed up. And we'll show you how that's looking. But that's our finds yesterday. So we'll hope to find some more stuff. All right, let's get this pack. There's our orders. They're going out today. The one that was 253 and ended up costing me 375. But it doesn't happen very often. It's just because I put it in as the eBay standard envelope. And being that it was thicker than a quarter inch because of the two cards that he purchased, I had to ship it as regular ground advantage. So it cost $3.75. So it's okay. I think that's only maybe the second time it's ever happened to me. But it's because I was able to ship the one that was real thick, the Herschel Walker. It was right at a quarter of an inch. So I was able to do that as eBay standard envelope. But then when my customer bought the other card too, it made it thicker than the quarter inch. So it didn't qualify. And then I guess it didn't catch that and send him the updated shipping. So it just sent it as if it was two cards. So it's okay though. It happens very rarely. All right. Well, that's our three orders for today. I'm going to get these thrown out in the box and work on getting our finds yesterday listed. See you tomorrow. All right, good morning. It is Saturday, October 7th now. I've got three orders that I need to pull that'll go out, and then I'll recap our week. So I've got a DeAndre Hopkins prominence card. Hope everybody enjoys their weekend this weekend. There we got Hopkins... And it is, it's a pretty cool looking jersey autographed rookie card. Actually had it listed for a little while. There it is. Actually, pretty neat card. If you can see that. It's number 67 of 105, but it's on card. It says rookie. So that sold for $69 plus shipping. Then I've got a Max Crosby Panini Spectra card. That's the Raiders. There he is. So that card, Max Crosby, and that is a neon green scope prism. That one's numbered 18 of 35. That sold for $6 plus shipping. And then I've got a CD that sold, and that sold for $1.99. And then it's the Narada World. Let's see, and that is in box number eight. So I got a box eight. I started numbering them. I didn't when I first, let's put this light on. I didn't when I first did it, but I have since started numbering them. So that way it'll be easier to find when I do 
get into a box. I'm thinking it should be down. Well, I guess wrong side of the box. It must be on this side of the box. There we are. And it is. Which way do I have these things? Okay. I should have brought that in here so I could see what it. Oh, oh, that's the wrong one. So I knew what it looked like in the front. There's um, there it is. All right, Narda World. That's a two CD set, Global Vision. So this is one that I picked up in that estate sale I went to. So this ended up costing me roughly a penny. And then the other items that I had, the other two cards, I got the Crosby, and I forgot to tell you that, but I got the Crosby inside of a collection that I got. I got a whole box that had, I don't know, probably 500 cards in it for like five bucks, but that was in there. And then the Hopkins actually pulled that out of a pack. So, all right, we'll get these packed up. That's the three that are going out today. And then I'll recap with you on what our sales were for this week. All right, and there we have it. That's our three orders that are going out today. And that concludes our week, which will be episode two for our reselling adventure that we're working on. Sales this week were down. You know, I've been kind of transparent with things and letting you guys know what I've done. So you can see this past week, did $171.88 in sales. Average sales price per item was $14.32. Quantity sold 12. And net sales $100.76. So that was our last week. And that was reported for September 30th through October 6th. All right. Well, thanks for joining me this week. Really do appreciate your support. Hopefully you continue to grow. Let me know what you like to see, what you don't like to see, what you think I should include, shouldn't include. Give me some just suggestions. Let me know in the comments. And as always, thanks again. Till next time. Bye.